Welcome back to CBS This Morning. In our morning rounds, how a routine doctor's visit for a, a sore throat brought more than $28,000 in charges. This is absurd. Our continuing Bill of the Month partnership with Kaiser Health News and NPR looks at unexpected medical costs. That woman's visit shows even when insurance does cover medical costs, costs can still skyrocket in the long run. Take a look. I thought maybe because my throat had started hurting a lot, I potentially had strep throat. Alexa Kasten wanted to be sure that her cold symptoms weren't anything serious. So she made an appointment with a doctor that she had seen before, Dr. Roya Fatalahi. She said, okay, I'll give you a strep throat culture. She sent in a nurse and they did blood work. That was it. She gave me a prescription for antibiotics. I left. Within 10 days, Kasten felt better. But she started to get unexpected messages from the doctor's office. While both the doctor and the lab that performed the blood test were in Kasten's insurance network, the lab that processed the throat swab was not. Kasten was surprised to learn that the doctor had ordered an extensive and expensive array of respiratory tests. She didn't give me any indication that she was going to do anything more than just a basic strep test. The bill for those throat swab tests totaled more than $28,000. After deducting a copay, the insurance company paid the claim, sending Kasten a check for $25,865. She says the doctor's office, which, by the way, shares a phone number and an address with that lab, wanted her to turn over the entire insurance payment immediately. Blue Cross Blue Shield also kind of dropped the ball here. Um, and they, you know, should have flagged this, and they didn't. Ms. Kasten did give that check to her doctor, who did not respond to our request for comment. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota told Kaiser Health News it is now reviewing the claim and has placed a hold on that check for more than $25,000. Dr. Elizabeth Rosenthal is editor-in-chief of Kaiser Health News, and she joins us at the table this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks. So much to unpack oh here. All right. Gosh, yeah. So in this case, she wasn't asked to pay the $25,000, right? No, she wasn't. But in New York State, there's a surprise billing law, which this is, which holds patient harmless. But in many states, only 12 states have those laws. So in many states, they could have come after her. And remember, even if she didn't have to pay it, her insurer did, which means everyone in her company is paying those crazy bills. So don't just say, eh, it's not me, I don't care. Dr. Rosenthal, how likely is this to happen to the average person? Well, very, look, this is a, a very common thing. This time of year, probably... Hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers are going in with the head colds, getting throat swabs, and you just never know, right? So a, a little thing, we have these kinds of bills from throat swabs, 20, you know, 28,000. Mm -hmm. We have a urine test for 18,000, a tube of blood for 8,000. So when the doctor says, uh, let's just swab your throat or uh, let's just, you know, give me some urine in a cup, mm -hmm. you have to have your antenna up because you just never know. And that's why I always tell people one thing you can do right away is when the doctor says something like that, you say, okay, but send it in my network for testing so you're, you're safe. And be asked, like, why are you sending this test? I mean, sure, a throat swab is normal, right. but this throat swab was sent for every virus and bacteria and DNA testing under the sun, and that's why it added up partly why it added up to be such a crazy, crazy amount. And if someone was in an intensive care unit and dying, you might say, oh, all these tests are necessary. If you have a head cold, boy. Right. So you mentioned that lab that did all those tests. There is a connection between the lab and the doctor. What do we know about that? Well, mm -hmm. all we know is that they're at the same address. So it's very hard to know what to make of that. Mm. Um, you know, it, 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 it looks odd, right? But... Um, it, 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 it could be far away, too. It could be a lab. I, I don't know what to make of that at this point. It could be a lab in Utah. I mean, the point is the doctor sends a minor test to a lab. The lab can do, uh, can mark up whatever they want. The markup can be crazy. Another lab told us those same tests might cost $600. 20 seconds. How does something like this get passed on to other patients, right? So if she'd have paid it and not raised a right. flag, right. how does this get passed on to the rest of us? Well, because what insurers do when they pay out these crazy claims is next year they just raise premiums on all the rest of us. And so, you know, it feels like no one's paying, but in fact, we're all paying. And plus, it's wrong. We have a health system that's totally out of control in terms of cost. And totally we all, wrong. when we see something like this, we can't just say, oh, I don't have to pay. We say, 
No, that's crazy, as, as Ms. Kasdan did. Thank goodness. That's right. Well, Dr. Rosenthal, thank you for those tips. Take away, pay attention to those bills. Yeah.